infectious disease is a major cause of depression and dementia. And nobody talks about it. I mean, how we're going to beat the coronavirus is your best defense is your immune system. So how do you strengthen it? You want to know and optimize your vitamin D level where 80% of the world's population is low in vitamin D. There's some new evidence that if you're low in vitamin D, the coronavirus is more likely to hit you hard. And, and so we measure vitamin D and then we optimize it. And everybody needs a how, different level. How can we get access to vitamin D? What are the things we should be taking? So you get vitamin D from the sun. And so, but the dermatologists won. They made us afraid of the sun, even though we evolved um, or were made in the sun. And it's, and now children are inside playing video games all day. Their vitamin D levels are just terrible. And so try to get sun. And if you can't because of where you live, take extra vitamin D3. So I take 7,000 units every day and that keeps me at a high normal level. And at a time like this, I want to be at a high normal level. You're, then we're not going out as much. And if you have darker skin, um, you actually need more vitamin, more sun to get healthy vitamin D levels. So for example, um, African Americans who go from the American South to England end up with a higher incidence of mental health problems because they were in the sun a lot and now they're not in the sun hardly at all. And it crashes their immune system. Vitamin D is important for so many things. There's a whole section so, on that. So, so especially well. now, especially now with, with the pandemic happening, uh, you said we have to focus on our immunity. Vitamin D is one. What else should we be? What else should we be looking at? Probiotics, because your gut houses about sixty percent of your nervous tissue, and so gut health becomes very important. And then certain foods like garlic, onions, mushrooms um, help boost immunity, as does zinc and vitamin C. And mm -hmm. sleep, we're going to get to sleep in just a minute, but sleep is just incredibly important when it comes to strengthening your immunity. And comedies, I, I just can't stress this enough. Turn off the news. Do not watch the terrible news 24 seven. That will make you sick. Um, it's this great book. It's one of the reasons I became a psychiatrist. Um, it's called The Anatomy of an Illness by Norman Cousins. And I think it was published around 1978 or 1979. He was the editor of the Saturday Review and he had an autoimmune disorder called ankylosing spondylitis. He had just great pain in his spine. His body was attacking his mm -hmm. spine. And he found um, none of the meds worked. And so he's like, all right, I'm gonna do something different. He locked himself in a hotel room with 500 hours of comedies <sighs> and just laughed for weeks and at the end of the 500 hours, he didn't have the illness anymore. And it's where you bring your attention determines how you feel. And so laughter is so good for, so during the pandemic, we're actually making a point of at least twice a week to watch a comedy and just watched Meet the Parents. It was hysterical. I love and that, right. That is good for your immune system. Amazing. So important thing to keep in mind is vitamin D, probiotics, foods such as garlic, onions, mushrooms, zinc and vitamin C, sleep and comedy. There you go. Fantastic. Yes.